Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I am going to show you the top 3 online C compiler. So in the online you will see a lot of compiler for C but I just made some research and just choose 3 compiler that will be best suited for C programming. So the number 3 is programmings.com. So the compiler looks really simple and I really like the interface. Here you can see we have the light mode and the dark mode. I am not a fan of light mode actually. And here you can see printf hello all. So if we just print anything over here then click run. We can see the output really smoothly. And if we just made an error it will also show us an error. Everything for this compiler is really good but the only issue is we cannot actually download the code from here. So this compiler is just for some simple use. So just for doing some simple coding for C, this is the best simple compiler for me. So after this, at number two, we have onlinegvt.com. Now this online C compiler will actually give you a actual compiler vibe. So here you can see the command from over here. Here you will see the result. And let me just copy this, then paste it here, then over here you will see the run option. If you click run, there you can see hello all. This compiler is a little bit more advanced than the programmings.com. This compiler is really simple. So here in this online gbd.com compiler, you can create new file. You can even upload a file or you can even download the file. There is also save option as well. But the only thing I do not like about this comp compiler is that here once we run our code, here it's just loading. I just do not like the loading skin. Other than that, this compiler is really great for coding C. Okay, there is one more thing that I'd like to mention is that here in this compiler, it actually suggests us when we are writing anything. Here you can see it is suggests us the printf. So if you do not want the compiler to suggest you, then here you can see the setting option. Just click on the setting and here you can choose the theme dark and light. And then here you can see autocomplete on and off. If you click it off, then it don't suggest any tag or anything when you are writing your code. Okay. So this compiler is really great for use as an online compiler. It also shows us the error really great as well. There is also the debug option here. You can see. So let's just remove the text from here. Let's just click run again. And there you go. So this compiler is really great to use as a compiler and this is quite advanced. So right now let's move to the number one. At our number one we have replit.com. Now this compiler is the best that I could find online. So here it is the interface and if you do not like the white color I normally prefer the dark mode. So in order to have the dark mode we need to just go to the setting option. So here at the bottom you will see the setting option. If you just click on the setting then here you should have the light and dark mode. So here you can see theme. So it is by default light. We'll just make it dark. And there you go. It is right now dark. So here just like the compiler online GBT we can also download at file or save the file over here. But the best part is here you can see the chat option. Okay, let me just go to the console and close the setting from here. So here you can see the chat option. You can actually chat while coding using this compiler. So with whom you are going to chat. So obviously uh, you need to have some friend. So here you can see the invite option. If you click invite, you can invite your friend by adding their mail address here and then invite them. If they join, you'll be able to chat with them while coding. So let me just show you the chat option. If I click chat, here you can see it opened a chat option. And from here, we'll be able to chat with our friends. There you can see it is uh, showing the masses. So let's just close it. There is no friend right now. And uh, here, let me just run the code, copy this then paste it and here you get the run option if you click run and there you go it will show us the message over here so this is my number one uh, so all the compiler that i just showed you over here all of them is great each one have their own strong point so this is just my personal preference if you like any other c compiler then 
comment it below so that other could find it out in this channel i normally do not make video like this so i made video like this because i wanted to make a tutorial for programming language c for beginner that's why i decided to make a tutorial for the best top three online c compilers and when i made a tutorial for programming language c for beginner then i'll add the link in the description so that you can check out the video so thanks again for watching i hope to see you in the future tutorials